Hey guys, we're going to take a look at some of the new string features or string methods that are available with ES6. All right, and these are used to target expressions inside of a string. So first thing we'll do is create a string. We'll call this the string. And let's do hello. My name is Brad and I love JavaScript. All right, so we have a string. Now there's three methods that I want to show you. The first one is starts with. Second one is ends with. Third one is includes. And you may know what these do just by reading the names. Um, but let's say console.log. And we're going to use the string variable. And from there, we're going to say dot starts with, and let's pass in hello. Okay, we save that, reload, and we get true because it starts with hello. If I take off this E, oh, I'm sorry, this H, and save it, we get false. If I take it off here, save it, obviously we get true. Okay, so very simple. It can just give you a true or false to see. Uh, depending on what it, the string starts with. Okay, end with also is pretty much the same thing, just on the other side. All right, so let's say the string dot ends with, let's see what it ends with, JavaScript. If we say JavaScript, save it, reload, we get true. Take off the T, reload, we get false. Take it off up here we get true again. All right, so that's ends with. Now we have includes. Okay, so let's change ends with to includes. If we leave JavaScript in there, we get true. Uh, if we put the word love in there, which isn't at the beginning or end, it's in the middle, that's still true, okay? Because includes will get it from anywhere. If we put loves, and we reload, we get false because the word loves is not anywhere in there. All right, so that's how these three methods work. Now, I wasn't going to stick it in here, but this video was really short, so we're also going to go over some of the number methods um, that are available. All right, so, or not just the number methods, but um, just different features for numbers. So, for instance, if we want hexadecimal value. JavaScript ES5 supported that. So, for instance, if we want to say uh, 0xff, okay, if we go run that, we get 255. All right, this is hexadecimal. With ES6, now we can also use binary. All right, so if we say console.log and let's do uh, 0b101011. That gives us 43. In addition to binary, we can also use octal. So let's do 0 and then the letter O and then 543. Reload and we get 355. All right, so we can use hexadecimal, binary, and octal notation. Next thing, we have some number methods. So let's say console.log number dot is finite. All right, we want to pass something in here, let's say three. And I'm actually going to just comment these out. Okay, so if we go ahead and reload, we get true. Okay, three obviously is finite. If we do negative three, it's true, still finite. If we put in infinity and reload, we get false. Obviously, infinity is not finite. If we put NAN or not a number, reload, we get false, okay, because that's also not finite. All right, so that's one. We also have one called isNAN, which is pretty self explanatory. You can probably guess what this is. 
Of course, it's true. We're checking to see if Nan is Nan. If we put a number in here, okay, that's going to be false. We could put a string in here. That's going to be false. The only thing that's going to be true is Nan. All right, and then the last one I want to show you is is integer. Okay, so that checks to see if something is an integer. Let's go ahead and run Nan. That's false. If we run two, that should give us true. Even if we do a negative two, that should also be true. Okay, if we do, let's say, infinity, that's false. All right, so those are some of the new number methods. In the next video, we're going to take a look at how to use default parameters in ES6, as well as the spread operator.